Hello, it is Foundation Friday, October 20th, 2023. Steve Cypress here with another in our multi-part series on the fantastic foundational book by Denny Hatch, 2,239 Tested Secrets for Direct Marketing Success. And I contend this is all for business, general business sense as well. We are randomly going through different tips in the book, not covering all 2,239 secrets, but this one in the chapter on general secrets of marketing, we have Bill Williams, Eight Steps to Generating and Evaluating Ideas. Now, I don't know who Bill Williams is. Uh, I tried looking up Bill Williams. There's a million of them. So not sure who he was, but I can tell by his eight steps to generating and evaluating ideas, evaluating ideas, he was or is one sharp cookie. This book was written about 25 years ago, so many of the masters the, whose ideas appear in here are no longer with us. Uh, hopefully Bill is, and hopefully he's still helping lots of companies make lots of money because this is how you do it. So generating and evaluating ideas. I mean, as entrepreneurs, that's pretty much all we do. We have the entrepreneur trait of ADHD, so we're always being distracted by new ideas and shiny objects, and I could do this, and I could do that, and what about this, and what about that, and we lose focus on what we really should be doing. So this is key, eight steps to generating we don't need a lot of help generating, but evaluating ideas. So take it or leave it. Here we go. Number one, take the customer's point of view. It's basically what the entire the wow strategy is all about. Examine everything as the customer sees it. Make all your customer interactions as simple and error-free as possible. Ask yourself, are you communicating clearly and consistently? Number two, meet or exceed the competition's service. People don't shop with you because of sentimental attachment. If, you, if your products have competition, and whose don't, service will determine loyalty. Try to raise the competitive bar over time. Remember, a competitor that is playing catch-up loses credibility with the customer and will probably operate less efficiently than you. So we must challenge ourselves to achieve total customer satisfaction. Number three of the eight steps to generating and evaluating ideas is to know thyself only. By understanding what's unique about your company, can you leverage your strengths and address your weaknesses in customer relationships? Number four, consistently meet your commitments. Should go without saying, but virtually every company consistently honors its product guarantee, but how many companies miss delivery deadlines, fail to update the customer on the changing status of an order, or give great service only when a customer requests an extra effort. Too many. Do not allow inconsistency to exist in your business. Number five, service must be efficient to be successful. No company exists that can maintain both profits and market share while operating less efficiently than its competition. The easiest way to lose profits, market share, or both is failing to focus on efficiency in the pursuit of being an effective market share competitor. Number six, anticipate everything. Please your customers by knowing what they'll appreciate before they know it. Win over new customers by accurately anticipating your competitor's service capabilities and strategies and then beating them to the punch. There's not a market leader in the business that can keep its position by being complacent. Number seven of the eight steps to generating and evaluating ideas is to commit long term. I talk about all this stuff all the time. If you have a well thought out idea of where customer expectations and competitors' capabilities will be in five or 10 years, begin to lay the groundwork now to gain an advantage. For example, those direct marketers who anticipated that customers would be increasingly time constrained now state second and next day as their delivery standard. These companies gain market share at the expense of their competitors. Amazon is one of them. Amazon Prime came in with two-day delivery, one-day delivery, and boom, huge competitive advantage among many that Jeff Bezos put in place to build Amazon to the largest, most successful retailer of all time. Companies will gain market share at the expense of their competitors when they do this. Building operational capabilities is a long-term commitment that will win over customers and yield huge competitive advantages. And finally, the eighth and final step, according to Bill Williams, for generating and evaluating ideas if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Talk about that all the time. There are some basic numbers you gotta measure in your advertising and marketing, uh, but there are many advanced ones you gotta measure too. 
Uh, and here, uh, Bill Williams says he did in several of these, talking a lot about customer satisfaction. So on top of measuring all your marketing and your advertising numbers, how about having mystery shoppers? So you can actually track customer satisfaction and nip problems in the bud when they arise and find that uh, something that's coming up more than once, you need to incorporate a system to handle that, to anticipate, to cut it off before it becomes a customer complaint. So that, those are Bill Williams' eight steps to generating and evaluating ideas as shared by the great Denny Hatch in the fantastic uh, encyclopedic textbook, 2,239 Tested Secrets for Direct Marketing Success. We'll delve into another random secret next Foundation Friday. So thanks for being here today, and I hope you'll join me then, and I also hope you'll join me tomorrow on Social Media Saturday.